Hog 3 unboxing and installation. So we are going to now put a Hog 3 on this little bitty 10 gallon test aquarium. They used to have the Hog 1.3 on it. Uh, now it has nothing on it and we're going to put a Hog 3 on it. Got to remember that this small tank has thin glass and so in order to put the Hog 3 on it we had to take off some magnets. So um, it's only going to have a few magnets on it so it doesn't crack the glass. Um, but if you bought one, new in a box, it would have all the magnets. So it could attach up to 5 8 inch glass or acrylic. And also you here in the video you might be able to see that all the food is rotting on the bottom. Never have gotten it off the bottom, just letting it rot down there for a couple months now. And um, the fire shrimp doesn't doesn't go after it, so I don't have any other cleanup crew that would uh, take the stuff off the bottom. Uh, maybe I'll get something soon. Alright, so anyway, the Hog 3. This is the most powerful of the Hogs hang on glass scrubbers. It has the strongest LEDs and the uh, most attachment surface and whatnot and um, it is for is meant for uh, salt or fresh water uh, installations that have high nutrients in the water meaning you can measure them like you know more than uh, 50 nitrate or 40 nitrate or more than 0.2 uh, phosphate something like that where normal lower power scrubbers would grow dark alright so this higher power light is designed to grow uh, in the higher nutrients and also um, it is um, it would work in a case where you have a very old aquarium and the rocks are covered in uh, algae and because the rocks are soaked with phosphate so in those cases you usually don't measure any nitrate or phosphate in the water because the algae that's growing on the rocks absorbs it all and that's the hardest type to get started because the scrubber is fighting with the uh, algae on the rocks to win, uh, whoever has the strongest photosynthesis uh, will eventually win. But getting the scrubber started there is um, those are the hardest situations. So anyway, let's do this now. Here is the scrubber in the box. Okay, just how you would get it. Instructions and uh, these instructions are they work for all the different hogs, the .5 all the way up to this one which is the the hog 3. Alrighty, so you want to read these. There's a lot of tips in there on what to do if you have a situation that's that you haven't seen before. Alright, so there we go. Everything fits in this little box nicely. First thing you'll notice here, this is brand new, that's why I wanted to do this video, is to show the new cloth that we're now including with all the higher power and even medium power scrubbers. And it has this little piece of paper on it, <clears throat> especially with the Hog 3, which the Hog 3 and the Surf 2X have the strongest light. And it says right here, keep this cloth over the LEDs until growth has covered the white part of the scrubber then remove the cloth. This will take one to three weeks. Then clean the white part for the first time. Alright, so what that's saying is that we've learned that the white interior of these scrubbers, because it reflects the light around and around and around, it's a, it amplifies. Um, it's called a knit. I think it's called a knit. It's pretty thin. Okay, so anyway, let's uh, take off the little uh, the thing here. need that. Now the cloth goes on for the hogs, which is this one, the cloth goes on the outside of the tank. For the surfs, it goes underneath the light, which sits on top of the scrubber. So it's going to get wet there, but here it can just go on the outside like this, okay? So we'll do that in just a second. Let's get back to the to this here. Okay, there's your hog 3 has the extra attachments the strings on the inside which turns it into 3D scrubber on the inside so it's not just a flat wall and uh, of course you have your sliced airline on the bottom which is the same with all the hogs alrighty so um, let's go ahead and 
attach this to the pump. Over here we have the Fusion 700 pump. Right now it's on low. Both of these are combined into the one outlet. This comes with the this comes with the pump. So if you buy the pump, which is a separate purchase, then you get the little connector here and you can use the one connector to go to the hog or also this would power a Surf 2 by itself because a Surf 2 needs two outlets. All right? So, taking this off here, Okay, so right now the pump's on low, and let's just see how it looks. Okay. Alright, so the pump's on low. As a reminder, you can keep this below the water line, and the bubbles come out the hole on the top, or you can keep it above the water line, and it makes its own bubble remover. And um, you can even raise it above the rim if you lift the light up and put it over this plastic rim. So I do that here. So this is a very low flow. Some people can do this at night if they're trying to sleep and it's near their bed. It makes almost, this pump with these bubbles makes ze pretty much zero noise right now. And I'll turn it up. Okay, so that's really nice. Since there's, n there's no algae on the inside at all, there's nothing to stop the swirling going on. So like right now, it's, it's starting to swirl like this. And if you tilt it like this, it, it might start swirling like this, okay. Now it makes some bubbling because there's there's bubbling. That's why it's bubbling. Okay, so here it's quiet. All the bubbles pop on the inside and they the only air comes out the top. And then that's down below. I've purposely left the water line low here to, so you can see the difference. You're probably running your tank with the water up to here. In that case, you'll have to lift the you'll have to lift this over the plastic rim, but it'll still go over the plastic rim like that, a small rim like this, okay? So there's, um, I haven't adjusted anything. This is right out of the box. So it looks perfect. All right, so let's attach the, um, let's attach the light. Let's see if that's gonna hold itself there. Okay, good. Now, the light with the covers, this is going to apply to any hog scrubber, any surf scrubber. Just put the cloth over the light like that. And then stretch it out. You only need to do this once. There we go. So stretch it out, make sure it's flat against the glass like that. Okay. So that's pretty much it. You can slide it up. It's quiet. Slide it down. Um, you might notice that Yeah, there's a few bubbles coming over here because I don't have the magnets here. We're supposed to have magnets here. There we go. Okay. Tremendous difference in sound if you go up. It's silent. And if you had to go over the top, if you were trying to go up and you couldn't get above this, then just lift it out like this. Go up. And then put it back. So you go out, up, and back like that. It won't work for really big rims, um, but for a small rim like this, or if you just lower the water, it works fine. All right, so let's, uh, I'm gonna leave it up like this, and then let me just plug it in. Okay, so now all six LEDs will be operating. 
through the through the material here. Let's we'll see if we can see this. So it shines through the material enough to give us a slight glow to this, and that's really all you want for the first week or two. Once you look at the white material with a flashlight, you have to use a flashlight because you won't see the uh, covering on the on the white with the red light. You have to use a white light. Once you see a green coating, a dark coating, or any kind of coating, then you can take the cloth off and you're good to go. Because it won't be reflecting white anymore. But as you can see here, it shines through just enough to give it a good start. All right, so we're going to let that go and start doing some uh, pictures or some videos every week or two as it grows.